planet earth is a delicately beautiful planet in an endless ocean of space and darkness the earth is our home and we all share the same home as one family planet earth is the largest of the inner planet it is made up of continents and oceans the earth is so big in size that it was difficult to tell the location of any place on the earth and so a greek philosopher and mathematician eratosthenes came up with latitudes and longitudes now the spinning of the earth on its axis provides two naturally fixed points and that is north pole and south pole when you have glance at any globe it will show a series of north south and east west lines and together they make up the earth's grid system it is also known as geographical grid these lines are used to find the exact location of a place on the earth the north south lines are known as meridians of longitude and they extend from the north pole to the south pole all these meridians are actually half circles the east west lines are known as parallels of latitude so what are latitudes latitude is an angular distance of a place north or south of the equator supposing i say mumbai is 19 degrees north this means mumbai is 19 degrees north of the equator now if a line were to be drawn from mumbai on the globe to the center of the globe then the line would make an angle of 19 degrees with the horizontal another angle of 19 degrees can be measured south of equator so there are two 19 degrees one in the north and other one in the south so it must be clearly mentioned when i say 19 degrees mumbai is at 19 degrees north the line of latitude is then drawn through mumbai parallel to the equator this parallel of latitude is 19 degree north latitude any place or point on this parallel of latitude would form an angle of 19 degree at the center every parallel of latitude is a circle so there are 90 parallels of latitude in the northern hemisphere to the north of the equator similarly there are 90 parallels of latitude in the southern hemisphere to the south of the equator now all the lines of latitude are not drawn on a globe for practical reason because if i draw all the lines the map would appear very crowded so what are the points to be noted first thing is a latitude is an angular distance of a place north or south of the equator there are 180 parallels of latitude each parallel of latitude is a circle all the parallels of latitude are not of equal length the circles become smaller as we move towards the pole the equator that is at 0 degrees is the most important latitude and the largest circle that can be drawn on the globe it divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere now the distance between any two parallels of latitude is always 111 kilometers the north pole and the south pole are fixed points and serve as basic points of reference now what is the importance of latitudes latitudes are related to the temperature on the surface of the earth planet earth is spherical in shape so different part of the earth receives different amount of 
sunlight. Based on that, three important heat zones of the earth are formed. They are torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. The torrid zone or the tropical zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Cancer is at 23 and a half degrees north and Tropic of Capricorn is at 23 and a half degrees south. Now, what is the importance of this torrid zone? Torrid zone receives nearly vertical rays of the sun throughout the year and it receives vertical rays of the sun two times in a year. We will understand this better when we learn about revolution of the earth. Similarly, the next one is a temperate zone. The temperate zone lies between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the north and Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle in the south. These regions receive slanting rays of the sun. So they never receive vertical rays of the sun. Next one is the frigid zone. Frigid zone in the northern hemisphere lies beyond the Arctic Circle and in the southern hemisphere it lies beyond the Antarctic Circle. The rays of the sun in these regions are slanting so it is very cold throughout the year. Now in the tropical regions summers are very hot and winters are mild. Similarly, in the temperate regions, like in India, Delhi lies in the temperate region. So, in the temperate regions, summer as well as winter, both are extreme. And in the frigid zone, throughout the year, it is very cold. After latitudes, we learn about longitudes. Just as the latitudes divide the earth into heat zones, longitudes divide the earth into time zones. Now, what is a longitude? Longitude is the angular distance of a place east or west of the prime meridian. Now, what is prime meridian? Prime meridian is again a longitude that passes through Greenwich near London. All other lines running from the North Pole to the South Pole are called meridians of longitude. Now, these are semicircular lines and two opposite longitudes together will form one big circle. Totally, there are 360 meridians of longitude. All meridians are of equal length and the distance between any two meridians is not equal. Actually, they get closer from the equator to the poles. There is a relationship between longitude and time. Now, as the earth rotates, every place has its sunrise, sunset and noon. Now the earth completes one rotation in approximately 24 hours. That means the earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours. Or I can say the earth travels an angular distance of 360 degrees in 24 hours. So in one hour, how much will it travel? It is 360 divided by 24. The answer is 15. That means the earth rotates 15 degrees in one hour. Now if I take India, the longitudinal extent of India is approximately 30 degree longitudes. So supposing I take the easternmost end of India in Arunachal Pradesh. Say there is a sunrise and I say the time is 6 o'clock based on the sunrise. After 2 hours 
on the other end that is on the western end of india people will see sunrise because the longitudinal extent of india is 30 degrees and we have seen that the earth travels 15 degrees in 1 hour so for 30 degrees it is going to be 2 hours so i can say that in terms of local time there will be a difference of 2 hours and we in india don't go by local time so we have a standard time and the standard meridian of india is 82 and a half degrees now if the entire country follows local time it will be different at different places and this would lead to confusion so we have a standard time and also a standard meridian and the standard meridian is 82 and a half degrees east passing through allahabad in this way all countries have their standard times many countries that are big in size have multiple standard times now different countries have different standard times again this would cause confusion so in order to maintain international uniformity one uniform time corresponding to the prime meridian is adopted by all countries and this is called as the greenwich mean time or gmt now from gmt indian ist is at 82 and a half degrees that means there will be a time difference of 5 and a half hours because if we travel 15 degrees time difference is 1 hour 30 degrees 2 hours 60 degrees 4 hours 75 degrees 5 hours 82 and a half degrees that is we are adding 7 and a half so the time difference will be 5 and a half hours so if it is 12 noon at prime meridian in india the time would be 5:30 pm 